guys, today I'm going to show you the making of my favourite Roblox shirt that I've made so far, along with a tutorial. Hope you enjoy the video! The first thing you need is a Roblox shirt template. So if you search up Roblox template transparent, you can scroll down and get it from Pinterest, Roblox.com, but I get it from SeekPNG.com because the other ones weren't downloading properly. After you do that, you need to go into PixArt and then push the plus button to get started and select your image. So first you need to go into Draw and then in the bottom left you can select your colour that you're going to use for your shirt. So I'm going to be making a stripy white and blue one. So if you save it, you just tap it anywhere and then if you want to get rid of the saved ones, you just press and hold and it goes away. After you have selected and saved your colours, you need to go into the shapes button, which is down here, and put it on square and push fill. After you've done that, you just need to go over all the sections that you're going to use your top in. And for normal Roblox shirts and like crop tops, you do it halfway. If you do it all the way along, that works mostly for blocky type characters. And by the way, this isn't the sleeve that I'm covering, this is the side of the body. Then you need to do it for the other side of the body and the back of your shirt as well. Then you need to go and do the left arm. If you want a short sleeve, do it short like how I am, but if it's a long sleeve, do it right to the bottom. This square patch that I just did, that is the shoulder. If you want it to be shown, don't colour that part in, but if you want it to have a sleeve, colour it in and do it symmetrical to the right arm. Now we can get onto the design. So what I'm going to be doing is doing blue stripes all along the shirt. So it's stripey and I have the colour saved already and that's the one I'm going to use. And then still with your shape as a square you can just do thin, thin rectangles all along as stripes. And try and keep them the same distance apart and the same width. After you've done all of your patterns, then we can go on to the neck hole. So what you need to do is push the eraser button, then go to the shapes and push the circle button and make sure it's still on fill. Then you can stretch a circle for the neck hole. Make sure most of it is on the top part, like above that line that you can see and make it kind of ovalish if you want. And I'm going to do a triangle one because it's going to be a v-neck, so you can just change the shape to a triangle, turn it round and add it on to the oval or circle, and then that will be the v-neck. You can also add text. If you push the text button down here, you can write a text and then add it on, or if you push this button, you can add a photo or a sticker. But I'm not adding any details, so you can push the tick button and then the next button and save it and then save picture on your device. Then you need to search up roblox.com slash develop slash groups. Even if you're not doing a group clothing, just do it because I don't know how to do the other one, but you can go there easily. So when it loads, if you wanna, this is the group creations and then you just have to select the group that you want. And if you're doing it in my creations because you don't have a group, you can. So when you go on group creations, you can go down to shirts and then you can upload your shirt. So you have to choose file, pick the image and then you can name it. So I am going to name it blue and white stripes and then upload it. And then after a bit, it should say shirt successfully created. But if it doesn't say that and it says that you haven't used the Roblox template, that means you have made a mistake while editing it. You have to make sure that you added any text or any stickers in the draw section of Pixar. If you do not, then it will not work. It has to be in the draw section. After it's been created, slide to the right and then you'll see a settings button and then you want to push it and then push configure. Now you'll be on the general section where you can name it and add a description. Make sure to push save and then when you go up tap where it says general and go to sales then you can put the item up for sale and put its price but if you don't push save it won't be for sale so make sure you do that. 
And this is what the shirt looks like. I think this is one of my favourite shirts that I have made so far. What do you guys think? If you want to see all of my shirts, just go onto my Roblox group, Zebra Gaming Squad, and then you can take a look at it, maybe even buy it. And also, if you buy anything, you'll get a shout out in some future YouTube videos. Anyways, I hope this video helped you create your Roblox shirt, and if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!